Mm-hmm. And I'm going to wiggle my fingers at the audience to summon the YouTube intro. Buenos Nachos YouTube and welcome to Fanny Pack Wrestling 2K23, my GM mode. Uh, where we play GM mode. We play uh, WW2K23 GM mode, heavily modded with uh, <laughs> our own choices for shows that we manage uh, and our own expanded roster of people that we love. Uh, I'm PD Rave, representing Impact Wrestling uh, in mm-hmm. this uh, GM mode. Uh, we have here, first of all, uh, Drew is currently out on assignment. Uh, he'll be back uh, next week, but he did leave me instructions on on how to book his uh, his show, so it should work out well. Um, but here, representing, uh, he was representing AEW. Damn it, representing AEW Collision. Where where where, where my colliders at? Uh, we've got Saturday the Saturday nights all right for fighting. <laughs> we got K's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. representing Ring of Honor, uh, we've got David. The Honor of the Ring. <laughs> David. All right. Ahoy, hoy. Yeah. Uh, we're here to to play some GM mode. Uh, okay, so let me get things situated over there. Boom, shakalaka. We got a new He's setup. He's on fire. Oh, right, I, mean, uh, I uh, still can't hear the game. Well, there's no s- sound. Oh, no, no. Yes, uh, I can. Yes, I can. I yeah, there's now. no music. Oh, okay. I should remedy that. Let me turn this down before you blow my eardrums. <laughs> um, let me see. I'll do that over here on this website. Oh, okay. Um, okay. As we see here, there's the, there's the Cactus Jacked. And when we get started, gentlemen, I have a query to throw at both of you. Mm -hmm. Something that I think you'll both understand. Okay, I'm down. Just like the old days, DJM, Kaz, and Petey just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Petey, you're running Dynamite right now? Yeah, so I'm going to be right. taking care of Dynamite. Ooh. All right, then uh, I will. I will start our little conversation on. Uh, gents, as you know, I was at Star Trek Las Vegas uh, mm-hmm. last Monday, coming back from Las Vegas. And suffice to say, I had a great time. Mm-hmm. And I was all set to go to STLV next year. However, comma, the thing about that is that there's Otakon in Washington, D.C., which I went to in 2022. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, I had a great time there. Uh, had friends, hung out with people, had a great time, great convention, really fun. It's just like STLV this year. So, I had it in my mind that 2024, I was going to be a madman and do both of those conventions. Yeah. Because they're both pretty close to each other most years, but I was going to try and do both. Unfortunately, the gods have ruled against me and put Otakon and STLV on the same weekend in 2024. So, the question I pose, PD, Kaz, if you had two equally evenly great conventions where you know you're going to have people there that you're friends with, you know you're going to have a good time at both of them, Uh what do you do? Do I go to STLV or do I go to Otakon? That's that's a that's a tough one. Um, Fuck okay. Otakon. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Did I say I, that out I, I'm sorry, Kaz. I had a really good time. I had a really no, good time. I, I I have as well. I have as well in the past. I have as well. It's been a great con sometimes. I understand most of the issue was fucking Baltimore, as is most of Baltimore's <laughs> issues. Fucking Baltimore. Um, yeah. You know, like... But I do feel portrayed because, you know, it was around the corner. I could just go. I was like, you know, I don't need a hotel. Fuck, I'll just show up. I'll just show up. I'll just How far is DC up. from Baltimore? How far is it? Uh, it's at least a train ride. I have to. I, it's a it's a good train ride. And because because the, of what, like two, some, three hours, would you say? It's about a maybe. A, yeah, about an hour or two. OK. Um, All right. But because of the ineptitude of Maryland, I guess I'll put it as the the it, it, they never heard of a complex or useful metro system a day in their fucking lives. Yeah. So <laughs> even though Baltimore is a major city, it doesn't truly, truly, truly in any way, shape, or form that is usable connect to anything else, right? Because the subway oh, they I, have, I understand only that completely. Runs D- Detroit like doesn't have one either. South, and then they have their their fucking light rail that runs east west, but they both go to the same places. I don't know how they did that, but they figured that out somehow. Yeah. Um, and then so you have to only use you can only use the Mark train to get to DC, which at that point is a as a as a cost effective as eye surgery. Like it, it's it's the most innate thing. I like I should just be able to pay a couple of shekels to go from Baltimore to DC cuz it's like yeah. I, I can do that in New York. I can I can be in Queens and be like hey you know what let's go to Manhattan and have lunch and I can pay a couple of fucking shekels to go to Manhattan yeah. in, in the greater it's New like York Detroit Ann Arbor right yeah but no you have to pay like 80 to 120 dollars to go to DC on the fucking metro wow yeah to then still have to then use their the fucking DC metro system which is <laughs> Which I did not knew, because turns out DC reasonably walkable. If I thought you're from DC Vegas, was New walkable. York, or Detroit, it is. If you're from anywhere else, DC is ass to walk around in. Hmm. Yeah. The only thing that really got me about DC was the humidity. Like, yeah, I was in Las fair. Vegas last week, and it was over 100 degrees, and I was barely bothered. And I was cosplaying, too. I was barely bothered by it. Yeah. But when I was in D.C. in 2022, I was dying from yeah, the humidity. That, that wet-ass heat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that Canada cool with that fucking Florida heat coming up from the bottom and just gets there and stops. The humidity absolutely kicked my ass in D.C. D.C. Um, but yeah, yeah. I had a really good time at Otakon in 2022. I had a really good time at STLV in 2023. Mm-hmm. I I got to figure out which one I'm going to go to because hotel and mm-hmm. flights and all of that stuff. So so I have that conundrum on my hands. Okay. And it's like really 50-50. Like it's... It's too close to call in just about every district. Yeah. Oh, this uh, this title match. What is this to be extreme rules? Oh, oh. It's been <coughs> been way too long. You don't have enough money for this, Petey. Oh yeah. Well. Um. But yeah, Drew it's, it's also been way too this. long since I've been to a con, and I really need to fucking get out. You know what, man? We we might be getting old, but they're still fun. They're still no, pretty yeah. fun. I've always said this: cons will always have something for all age groups. And I found that I out at think, STLV. I used to think differently, but they have something for all age groups. And I have a friend of mine who is at Comicet right now. Uh, they're coming back from Japan oh, tech, uh, in the next day jokes. or so. They had stayed in Japan for like a month. And they told me the exact same thing, that there really is something for every age group. And I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to like 
certain fandoms and certain cultures, yeah, you definitely feel like an age gap thing as you get older. You definitely feel an age thing. I don't know if, it's, if no. that's just me, but I definitely you, feel that. You know the thing that has gotten me recently? It's the it's the AI stream meme thing on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. I, I've been seeing that, and I just I, I said it to that today. I was just like, this is the thing that makes me feel like I'm too old for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there have been a lot of things where I'm like, oh, I don't think I get it. And then I'm like, no, I get it. Yeah. This one? I don't get it. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with these kids? <laughs> like <laughs> these, the chitlins. And it's not you know, the people about who the AI are doing thing, it. I just it's think... the people who watch it. That I don't understand. Yeah. Right. The people who are doing it. I get it. Right. It's super popular. Whatever. You're gonna you're gonna follow the trend to make money. Cool. Great. But it's get the people back. paying them. Yeah. Right. To right. Make them say a That's thing. the part. <laughs> with that you see, we're oh that that string of consciousness. It's like, why are you watching this? <laughs> Like, and why, are you, why are you giving them money? Yeah. This, this is the thing about 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 meme culture, right? Because it starts out and it's like, ha ha, ha, ha it's kind of funny. I'm, you know, I'm gonna give a Start couple shekels to this because it's kind of funny. And then everybody is like, Start no, going? I'm gonna keep giving money to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's fund this meme. And it's like, you can only do things ah. ironically for so long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but At kids don't point, get that. Like, they yeah. don't get that. Yeah, at some point, some point the 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 the, the irony is is completely lost. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do with Drew's promos. <laughs> <laughs> what did he give you? Uh, okay, so he said, um, make okay, make book a hell in a cell. For the highest rivalry and book every title match possible. Air on tag team because that rivalry is bigger than heavyweight. No, because the tag team. Uh, you can book hmm. a tag team for you. Why book this? Okay, this one's a nothing burger of a thing, even though it's a rivalry. I could probably. Let me. Yeah, let me. So let's book the. Tag titles. Look every title possible. Oh, oh wait. Let me let me un book uh, Swiss. Ah, fuck it. Put me and Gargano in there. No, I don't know. Yeah, because kind of like, yeah, put a tag title match. Oh, yeah, this. Not this. Should be a title match. Bailey and Ruby Soho. Yeah. I feel like that has happened in real life, so I want to say it would be good in real life. Yeah. Okay. Build that rivalry that way. <laughs> Can you have a call out and a match in the same card? Uh, so uh, I can. So Bugs isn't booked, so he can call somebody out. You can be called out and be in a match, but mm -hmm. Bugs can't call. I uh, can't do the call out promo and be in a match. That it's, seems silly. Yeah, it's a little. Silly. But basically, it's like it's like he's the one doing the promo. It's just that King Kaz is the subject matter of the promo. If you yeah. kind of look at it like that. 
it, it, I still but, think you should be able to cut a promo and wrestle in the same show. Yeah, like, <laughs> because that's, I don't see how that's like causing so much stress and stamina. Maybe I'll like you're a couple, you're a couple shekels. I don't know why I keep singing shekels, but it's the word of the day. Uh, word you're, of the you're day. A little bit. I'm just gonna use simoleons then. Mm-hmm. Dollary dues. I like, I like dollary dues. Well, no, if it would be more on brand for me to say latinum, uh, bars yeah. of latinum, that that would be on brand. All right, I think I booked a. I think you got to cut down that last charity promo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the charity. Let's have Donatello try to get us some money. <laughs> hey, he's for the kids. <laughs> this fucking rivalry. Let's see. Oh wait, you probably could have put Raphael and Donatello in the tag match together. Yeah, uh, but they right have right now. This is the rivalry. Oh uh, okay. So. Uh, so that's kind of what yeah. we're booking with. I got. I do got to get a deeper, a deeper fucking staff so I can actually have good tag matches. I think you yeah. need. I need at least like three more tag teams because I know yeah. I got the the Usos and I think someone else. Yeah, I think I at least want to have three it, more. It also frees you up to make more makeshift tag. I think this game like is like built around the fucking WWE idea of like all these makeshift tag teams. Mm-hmm. It, it, right. it definitely is an afterthought. Yeah. Let me let me it's always has been. Oh, yeah. Tag teams. Always has been. <laughs> Alright, give me keyboard control, so go ahead. Dude. Collision, you are up. <laughs> I think that me. I think that be me. <laughs> I got your number from your assistant. I'll be my I'm Ella Rubau. That part of me? I'm pretty big deal. I mean mm. getting my foot in the door first one. PD Rave, I got a question for you. Mm-hmm. With the news in the NBA today, I'll throw this at you. Would you want James Harden in Miami? Um, I I don't know that I do, but if it happens, like if 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 the front, uh, it's like. This is back to that, like, the, 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 what was it, the fucking video of the guy saying that, like, heat culture is like a cult. Um, if it happens, I'm inclined to trust the front office that they have an idea of what they want to do with him. And they okay. think that they, they can use, he can make them better on okay. some level. Yeah, you know, tr- in 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 <laughs> the the, the uh, cult thing again. In Riley, we trust. <laughs> All right. Um, um, yeah. So if it, it get, if it came down to Harden or Dame Lillard, and it was uh, P D Riley, P D Riley, the Godfather. <laughs> if it came I... down to Dame or or James Harden. I, the setting aside the obvious like uh uh like the logistics and like it, it depended on that but setting aside all those other things on apples to apples Dame maybe okay okay all right oh I still gotta pay for it yeah um, yeah so perk so much of my budget you gotta spend money to make money. Yeah, spend money to lose money. Guess. Hmm? How you feeling about the Giants this year? I haven't looked at shit that they're doing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How about uh? All no, right. How they about did the, make the playoffs no, last right. year. <laughs> <laughs> I believe they did win a game. They did win a playoff game. That that is something to build on. That'll be another fifty. I sent boost to check. Let me see what kind of matches I can put. 
Ah, oh, man. I like. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, STLV was also the same weekend as Evo. Yeah. Remember, uh... And. I had dinner at the Mandalay Bay Sunday night. Nice. So I got a little tiny taste of Evo. Nice. And that was pretty dope. Yeah. Evo, uh, I, I caught some, so I caught some of like uh, Street Fighter pools. Um, I peeked in a couple other things. Um, uh, but I did catch... I think almost all of Tekken 7's uh, uh, top six, and that was dope. There was a lot of great moments there, and Street Fighter uh, 6's top six was really good. Like, yes, it was. It was like <laughs> like so many so many uh, bouts just w went down to like the last round. <laughs> Final round, uh, final round of the final thing. Um, oh, this shit's so loud. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, it, it was a, uh, it was quality stuff from Evo this year. Quality bouts. Ugh. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um. Yeah, like uh, uh, I was it was exciting kind of the it that the uh, I was I was uh I had a lot of cool moments. I was uh, you know men are like the the the. The makeup of the like the top six was was really cool. Like we had Punk up there. We had rep the rep the Dominican Republic represented with Men R D. Um, we had of course Tokido. <laughs> Tokido, the old man, legend. Tokido, <laughs> the legend. And over in the Tekken. Uh, side of things, Arslan Ash uh, mm -hmm. continues to assert his dominance, mm -hmm. and Pakistan continues to represent in Tekken, mm -hmm. and that's always cool to see. I think that is something that's very unique to the fighting game world, is that it is very, very, very global. It's not like two or three countries. Yeah. Like, the fact that Pakistan in the last five years or so has this huge fighting game scene really came out of nowhere. And now they they rule the roost. And like you said, Mena RD, and that's just scratching the surface with Latin America, right? Yeah. And you've got players from France, you've got players from the US, you've got players from Japan, you've got players from Korea. And it's just... It's cool that you see people from everywhere, you know? Or... Uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to remember who it was. It was... It was Angry Bird that, that one. Okay, yeah, it was, it was Angry Bird that one. I was trying to remember his name. <laughs> Arslan Ash's countryman and teammate. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the oh, yeah. All in is in a couple weeks now. Yes, it is, and uh, the attendance apparently just passed eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. Eighty thousand attendees. 
eighty thousand tickets for a t-shirt company. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun time. Uh, it should be some good matches. Uh, you're gonna punk Joe once again. <laughs> it's wild that it's only they faced each other so few times. Well, I guess they probably faced each other a couple times, like in random other places, but like so few times in, in Ring of Honor. Yeah, only but, three times. But and like, those, those three matches, uh, seeing them almost in real time, like at least from when the matches happened till they came out on DVD. Yeah. I remember how hyped they were. Yeah. And I think when Joe versus Punk 2 got the five star rating from Dave Meltzer, I really think that put Ring of Honor on the map. Like, that was the match where Ring of Honor kind of became Ring of Honor. Yeah. And that was cool. And it's like, it, it it's weird that they haven't faced each other, but, faced each other, but then, like, the you realize, like, the timing of, like, okay, he, you know, Summer Punk, then he went to the WWE, and then by the time Joe was in the WWE, Punk was gone. And then he was there for quite a bit of time. And... Yeah, it's it's just a uh, uh, we're gonna get it we're gonna get it again. It's, it's it's gonna be a good time. Um. Also, did you see that uh, Punk couldn't help himself and, and cut another again <laughs> promo? <laughs> cut another promo on Hangman. The, the, oh, the word is that it's it's a work, but I'm like, why? Like you're not Here's in a program thing. with them. Just because it's a work doesn't mean it's not fucking stupid. Yeah, exactly. And and I'm just so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Like, do you, do you know how long I've been? reading and seeing people talk about some bullshit CM Punk did on the internet. Yeah. Like, he's been like this now for 20 years. Yeah. I'm so tired of it. I'm it so is tired. tired of him. Like, he is the same guy he was on the indies. He's exactly the same. Exactly. And, and I don't care if there's ever any kind of thing between CM Punk and the Elite. I don't care. I do not care. I, I would be happy if this bullshit just stopped. Table match. Does it have to be like a normal? All these matches are gonna have to be like a normal. Oh, don't forget the title. Oh. If you wanna put the title on the line. I think it's um, all the logistics. Yeah. You might have to, yeah, you might have to sacrifice this okay. backstage group. <laughs> Let's see. You're basically right there. Yeah. I feel like this one at least top. Could be dry? Could be dry? Oh, that's not cool. Church. Alright. 
with Gat Jive Owens versus Big Bill versus Daniel Garcia versus Steve Macklin. Speaking of Big Bill, Petey. Yeah. Did you see the recent episode uh, with RJ City of Hey EW with oh, Big Bill? I, I gotta check that out. I, 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 I always mean to like check out more of the Hey EW stuff, but I didn't like catch up like the the social media clip. Uh, Big but... Bill's really funny. He's very good. <laughs> He's very very good. Yeah, I think it's it's cool to kind of see him. Uh, thriving <laughs> like it's really good to see him thriving now with uh, with AEW and, and kind of finding his uh, uh, thing and Big Cage <laughs> as odd of a team it is as it was as, as, or is or I don't know if I don't it's think gonna they be. have a name yet yeah I think it's just Big Cage uh, or at least that's the meme name um, they, they oddly work like yeah yeah they do and it's like yeah it's and And I was never like I know that RJ City is an acquired taste he is an acquired taste Mm -hmm. and I am only recently starting to appreciate RJ City. Mm-hmm. I'm finally starting to come around on him. He, he, he was one in, in that category of, in the words of Meatwad from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, I get it. It ain't making me laugh, but I get it. <laughs> uh, but recently, like with the Hikaru Shida episode and, and like others... But I, I'm I'm starting to enjoy him more and more. That's good. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's. I think it, it because it leans more into like old Hollywood, old uh, you know, more traditional comedian com- comedy, theater kid comedy, and like just a uh. uh I don't know how to put it, but it's like it's just it's a different style of comedy than what's usually expected in in, in wrestling in the professional wrestling yeah. setting. Yeah, but I, yeah, it's one of those things where it kind of it grows on you. You kind of like let it uh, be its thing. Oh, and I, I should say, I have a, uh, when we're done with these booked matches, I do have a special bonus main event ready for us. <laughs> main event, Blood and Guts. Okay, alright. Blood and Guts main event. Uh, I have it, I, have, I even have it pre-recorded. <laughs> Let me see, oh. I gotta... I, I think this terrible show is as good as it's gonna get. I don't think I can do anything. <laughs> Uh, I wish you well. Just what it is. Good luck, sir. Good luck and Godspeed. All right. All right. Now mm-hmm. I should be Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor is up. Kota Ibushi. I finally. Oh yeah, Kota Ibushi. Finally, I finally um, changed Dijak's name. <laughs> do I want to keep Kota Ibushi? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's is my see. controller working? Uh, I heard it. Connect. There we go. Uh, 118k? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I can extend his contract. You have the opportunity. Uh, I haven't really used Kota much, so I'm gonna let him go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Donovan Dijak. Okay. And Ilolo and I hit it off as a tag team. Thanks for pairing us up. We'll look forward to the next tag match. Okie dokie. Thanks for staying on top of things. All right, cool. All right. So we start. Hey, Adam, I don't know if you do, but I love, love being in a certain match. The one and only Iron Man. Nobody does that better than me. Okay, Zoe Stark, I'll take that under advisement. 
you'll see that I wasn't wrong. Um, okay. Um, sure, Zoe Stark. I could book you on in an Iron Man match. Mm -hmm. Just not now. <laughs> you have two weeks, so you can do it on, on television. All right, let's see. New logistics available, basic lights effect, and pyro. Mm -hmm. Okay. A week 15, fine, whatever. It's the uh, special effects. Um, you have to 50, pay 50,000. Good lord. Good lord, that's a lot of money. Let's see. Um, road crew. How about I give you five dollars? You can give us some sparklers. <laughs> Uh, no. Backstage crew, there we go. High school gym, we'll do Hell in a Cell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see. What I do forget I have how power much or little money I have. No, no, no. Inventory. Double the cost of an opposing brand for next week's show. GM interference, book this show, plus two show us and free book this week, contract negotiation. Block an opposing brand from booking one of their champions in next week's show. Okay. GM interference will provide. Uh, I don't like any of those. Uh, raise the popularity of the superstar with the lowest by 15. Adrian, we have contract negotiation. All right, let's see. Who's out there? Who's out there? Um, Trinity, Chris Lander, Dirty Dom. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's a lot for Trinity. Um, okay. All right. Okay. He will. Let's book the show first before we mm -hmm. decide. Okay, so we're gonna make you hell in a cell or last man standing. Yeah, last man standing. Okay. So, Gunter, Will Ospreay, title match. Mm. This I, will end this feud. Yes. Big time. Um, God, I played like four hours of, uh, <laughs> of Baldur's Gate 3 today on stream. How is that? It is, it's dope. If you like, if you're... It's very CRPG. It's very like uh, Diablo... Uh, or Dragon Age a little bit, but like very like it's turn based. Um, but I don't know. It's just it's just fun. I, I like I really like the turn based because it just like it's the D. It's very D and it it is one hundred percent D and D. It's literally D and D, um, in video game form. But I I I really like it, especially like in the combat where I can just like plan thing. I can consider things uh step by step in in D, &D way um so the combat is really fun for me the the story seems really cool and interesting um also um as brett pointed out on the discord you get to pick out your preferred penis or vulva <laughs> excuse um, me yeah um there's nothing quite uh, like seeing a lovingly rendered tiefling dong. Just, but it's it's cool. It's like uh, the 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 like the, the amount of things that you can do uh, like randomly. Um, like the fact that um, one of the characters that came into my party, I taught him a skill that is uh, I think it was a bonus act or whatever um, he was able to cast speak with animals on himself 
Like with that, and then you can literally walk around to animals and talk to them. <laughs> and like they have converse, they have dialogue for the animals. Um, so you like walk up to this random pig. And it's like, you might have something to say. And some of them might have like random, like, you know, like any uh, non essential NPC, they might have like one dialogue and then the conversation ends. But it's. It's still cool. <laughs> so it's so cool. Um, God, we gotta blow up that feud. We gotta spend some money. Um. um yeah, I've not been paying enough attention to my feuds and stuff. Uh, resolves any rivalries, granting an additional. Uh, 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 gonna try to zero out a bunch of the ones I got going. Just hard book those matches until they're gone. I think I'm gonna tank for a couple weeks. I'm gonna Miami's Dolphin it and just tank for a few weeks. <laughs> Can we do title match? Okay, that'll make that worth something. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have to. Um, uh, let's see. I know I have a tag team. Cause I saw a couple of people in the free agents and different rosters that I want to kind of pick up so that's probably going to be all of my money for the next couple of weeks yeah. picking up rosters picks uh, tag team my, my titles also it's a shame that uh, we're going to we're not we're, we're and I get it I, I, I understand it's it's his choice but we're not getting any more well at least all not right. for a while any more Rick Abani on on the collision yeah, but I, I get it. But, uh, he's he was so great. <laughs> Him and Nigel worked they were so great well together. together. They they were way? great in Ring of Honor too. Yeah. They were legitimately really. Is there strong. a way to just see what title? I think I asked this already. Just see what titles I have. Um, or, like they're in your roster, you can just see the. Okay, uh, we're gonna give. Like Zoe who? Stark. Like who has what titles? Or no, what? no. Because I, 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 cause I feel like there's titles I have that I'm not using. Uh, I, you I, should I, have. So I can tell you, you have a main world title, quote unquote. Um, yours is the TNT title. It's a little confusing, but it's it's your main mm-hmm. world title. Um, uh, because your show is on TNT. Um, mm-hmm. you have a main world women's championship, which is the AEW World Women's Championship. I would um, to call out Sky Blue. You have your tag titles, your your men's tag titles. You have your mid card title change, which um, is uh, um, should be the international title. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and then you have a women's tag titles, which is a, a made up AEW World yeah. Women's tag oh. titles, because okay. there's no other. <laughs> tag, women's tag title like I give. So oh, basically, yeah, basically, main title. Uh, you're over budget. Tag babe. titles. You son Women's of- title. Mid card title. Women's tag titles. Um. Okay, we'll so do advertising with AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. He's advertising WWE 2K23. Yes, exactly. Um. Okay, we'll have. Oh, no, no, go back, go back, go back. Circle. Okay. Uh, let's see. You have exactly eight hundred eight hundred forty-six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be doing a lot of promotion. Advertising, advertising. Gotta do it. All right. We'll have something with Darby Allen. And oh. it. no, stop doing that, Next. David. Um, and uh, Sky Blue. Since I can't do a call out, I gotta change it to advertising. We're doing a nice group advert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are. I know, like, there's probably some kind of social media mechanic that's gonna say, oh, there are way too many commercials. <laughs> I bet that's what's gonna happen. Probably. Um, okay. okay. Um, 
What are you gonna? What, what else can you do, really? <laughs> like I'm it's actually just, pretty satisfied with my card. I, yeah, I think the it's matches okay. are, it's gonna be good. Matches are gonna be good. All right, let's go. Did I do everything I wanted to do? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, well. hopefully. <laughs> I can only hope. Uh, all right, limited stock, double the price. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to buy cards okay my contract at impact wrestling is up at the end of the week um yeah that's fine by me okay due to high demand power cards huh quick reminder your fans want to see great matches but they also wanted to watch a show with a lot of variety in his fights okay maximize variety you have at least one tag and one solo both female and male Representing, oh, okay. I'm not feeling physically 100% right now. I don't mind pain, but I don't want a serious injury. Oosh. Uh, you know what? Sure. Roosh is on paternity leave. It's fine. Yes. Hey, boss, you've had me benched for a while, and I really want to get back in the ring. Don't you have room? You know what? Yes. We'll, I'll book you in something. Okay. Schedule run in on one of my champions tonight. Alright, okay. Alright, okay, so let's book the show. What, what do I have as far as. Wait, wait. Crew. Yeah, I'm just gonna count on hopefully getting another one of those cards in the future. Um. Okay. Okay, so X Division Champion. Trying to face champion. Okay. We have some great rivalries. Okay, so we're gonna open with X Division title. talking about conventions earlier um, yeah. looking at 2024 you guys got any trips or vacations planned next year um i i hope um i'm what am i thinking i i want to do vegas for in whatever capacity i can um first you know try to figure out how i can make that happen or what excuse I can have for it. Um, I don't have an overwhelming need. I mean, I, I looking, looking far ahead, depending on where I'm at. I mean, I, I, I would like to f go to like CEO maybe. Okay. Um, That's not too far for you, right? Yeah, it's a, not it's a drive. Far. Uh, because it wouldn't make sense to just just to fly all the way to like Daytona Beach. Um, so I just drive up there. Um, it's not too too difficult. Maybe that, but I don't know yet. I gotta see what if anything other people are doing. But uh, for me, uh, like, I think it's more like random trips to places by myself 
for no other reason than to just be there. So like, I want to go back to New York. I want to go back to Vegas. I want to go back, um, maybe visit some new places if, you know, if it, if it's possible. Of course. Yes, how about you? Yeah. You looking to go anywhere? <laughs> and Kaz has decided to disappear on us. <laughs> oh no, I, I was still <laughs> muted. I was saying uh, I don't have any plans. I gotta. It's just, we're in a rebuilding year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> understood. Understood. Twenty twenty three rebuilding year. Uh, world title. Okay, where am I? Okay, yeah, world title. This has to be. John Moxley versus Kevin Owens. That would be great in real life. Oh yeah. Notice I said John Moxley, not Dean Ambrose. Yes. Okay. I'm not gonna. Wait, wasn't that first one supposed to be a title match? Oh uh, yes. Let me make this a title match. Kind of like getting these logistics, getting the matches in place. Um. And then you have to have interference on one of your champion yeah, title matches. Yeah, at least I should for my commissioner goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Puck. Oh, Puck is injured. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's there. Um, who would be... Fun stable mate for. Oh, I also promised Alba Fire a match. Give her a title match. Oh, my foot itches. Uh, okay, let me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta give her a title match. Um, but let me see. Who do I want? Yeah, you ain't using her for anything else. Fuck it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Got a two-week contract left anyway. Yeah. Just <laughs> weird booking, but we're gonna we're gonna have you uh, run in on Mayu Atami. This is the, my, my, okay, my booking in my head is that she's like a hired gun to come in to like ensure that uh, they win Mercenary. this title. Uh, it's going to be extreme rules. So it's not disqualification. Um, oh, this is. I am. Uh, You know what, we can... Yes, we can book. Rhea Ripley versus... Uh, for, the for the title. Okay. So... Okay, so if I bought that, then I wouldn't be able to afford things anyway. So, okay. So I might as well just focus on... Um, elevating these matches. You still gotta get some promos in there. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Okay. Oh, we have to do a call out, which is. Me, you do a Masse Delso call out. Yeah. Uh, they don't need it. Okay. Because they're already a level four. Ah, this one, they are real. Uh, uh, let me see. This is the one I wanted. This is because I, I want to elevate this where I were. But Roosh is taking a couple weeks off. Also, I gotta resize Roosh's render. <laughs> Way too big. Uh, no. 
I still gotta get you to change my costume. <laughs> yeah, I just thought of it. <laughs> Too weird. And I think I, tr I tried to recreate like what we, you know, but I don't remember. Like I was kind of like getting whatever I could remember. <laughs> um. Okay. I. I have. What do we? Oh, we can't. Uh, this is gonna do some charity work. Um, how about Kalisto? Yeah, Samurai did sold. Yeah, we did a decent promo. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, off okay, show bonus for this. Yeah. This is definitely. That's a legit ass main event. Yeah. John Moxley and Kevin Steen. <laughs> that is a in main cell. event ass main event. Um it's gonna be good. Um Alright. This is oh wait, let me make this special. Um I think the only thing you could afford is a table match, maybe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you're over budget already. Yeah, I'm oh, over budget. Um, yeah, the charity costs way too much. <laughs> let me, let me just have him elevate himself a little bit popularity-wise. Um, this is oh, is this, is this table match? Yeah, let me see. Mission. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. I can. And then, yeah, I think that's it. This one can be a normal match. It's got yeah, enough. You don't want them to get injured. They're already yeah, both they're low, already stamina. low in stamina. And like this one's like this one's normal. Just want to cash in on this promo, yeah. this uh, rivalry. And the same thing, low stamina. So yeah. a normal match is probably better so, for them. But these guys, this is going to cash in, get me uh, uh, 4,000 fans in total. Uh, this is going to build this rivalry. Who is that that is wrestling Cash Wheeler? Uh, 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 bombshell very, very blonde. blonde nice yeah uh so this is i i am and i have to do it for some of the other ones so i i i don't know if he's in the free agency I don't, let me take a peek but i somebody made a natty kingston mod and i installed him so i had to like i i had to replace the Eddie Kingston creator wrestler, so I just edited him and made him into a bombshell Barry Blonde. Nice. <laughs> uh, Old school. Yeah, so he's just he's the bombshell. So this is a very like Arn Anderson versus Ric Flair kind of like. That very NWA exactly. 1985. So I love it's it. Like, so it's like this has a little bit of everything. Like he's like very old school wrestling, very like you got your high X Division flyer. match, you got, got your tag team match, you got, you got your women's women. match, and you got your big time hardcore main event. Mm -hmm. All right. Go. Got a complete show. I'm I'm legitimately like based on popularity and based off of rivalries, I think it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good uh, show. Alright. Uh, Alright, so let's simulate. Okay. Yoshi Tanahashi Tana. beats LeBron James. Amazing. <laughs> Tana's injured for three weeks, so oh no! Oh. But the rivalry is complete. And he is now X Division champion. Ooh, weak promo, but builds the rivalry. That's the important part. I, I don't buy the idea of Miro ever p cutting a weak promo, but you know what? Neither here nor there. Yeah, not every promo oh. can be crew. New champs. Tamina and Shotzi. Four stars, amazing. Riding high. Diamante? Oh, did not. an okay reaction. Okay. One, two, ring the bell. Cash Wheeler. Cash Wheeler. One half of the tag team champions. Oh, Great. Injured. Oh, no. Still oh, managed to get injured. Oh, my God. Excellent promo from Edith Surreal. All right. 
<laughs> elevate their popularity. It's hard though. Yeah. It's... Um, simulate for the submission match. Alba Fire. Complete the rivalry. This card is on fire. <sighs> I'm so good. Okay, promo from Samurai Del Sol. All right, and then let's get to our main event. The main event of the evening for Impact. All right, let me turn off the music. Uh, uh, oh, wait, why didn't it? Did I not replace the... Okay, okay, okay. This is... This Blood and Guts, uh... Uh, arena is courtesy of Matt Fick. Rocking the Jay Briscoe shirt, we love that. Mm -hmm. Which I believe that's a that's an um, um I think that's a Bricks mod. Uh, basically, just like this. Oh no, I think it might be something else. I imagine else. in a couple of months they'll have the shorts updated with the PWG logo. <laughs> Love to see that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Kevin Owens. One of the best. <laughs> Just one of the best out there. Indeed. John Moxley with the classic unscripted violence music. Mm -hmm. The Impact World Champion. <laughs> I gotta fix his uh, graphics setup. Some classic unscripted violence. Lunatic Champion. Uh, big title. Uh -oh. What the hell? We go to I Justin could've... Roberts or somebody. <laughs> Mike Rome. Mike Rome and Justin Roberts next the to each other. Is a hell in a cell match. And is for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Rome, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 There's pounds. A... Charles Roberts. <laughs> in the, or I did, uh, if you notice, he has a nice uh, Fanny Peck Wrestling official shirt. <laughs> and his opponent, uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds. He is the WCW Heavyweight Champion. Just did Mike Roman and Justin Roberts just switched the mic. Yapper. It's just passing the mic back and forth. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> A big match feel. Referee Charles Robinson holding up the gold. Mm hmm. That looked like Charles Robinson. Yeah, it should be. I think, it's, it's a, I, I think that's Charles Robinson. I believe that's the mod I installed. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is going to be really fun. Um, it's kind of wild to think that Charles Robinson has been refereeing for like 30 years. Yeah. It, it is... Uh, it, is, it is like... The different companies, it's like... It, let me look that up. Let, let me look at how long Charles Robinson's refereeing. Oh, the takeover. <laughs> They're taking it down to the mat. To the middle of choke. Mm -hmm. One of Mox's signatures. Oh, yeah, Robinson made his wrestling debut in 1995. 
nice. as a photographer and later a referee. He signed with World Championship Wrestling in 1997. Oh, bring out the chair. <laughs> you have a chair. Yeah, so he's at least been refereeing since 1995. So, yeah, nearly 30 years. Yeah. Charles Robinson has been refereeing. Yeah, absolutely. Now he's uh, one of uh, our uh, senior officials here in Fanny Pack Wrestling. Ooh, European uppercut with, by Mox. Drives drives Kevin's face into the, into the chain link fence. I would love to tell like younger wrestling fans now that will watch Raw or SmackDown and see Charles Robinson and then say to them, "Yeah, he was a referee. He was in WCW." <laughs> <laughs> to just tell them that, like, yeah. what? How long has he been around? A long time. A very very long time. <laughs> Do you remember in WCW the wrestlers were good bow ties? The no, 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 no. bow ties? Yeah, they would have like a oh yeah, a dress yeah. shirt and bow tie in WCW. That's what yeah, they were. for a while there. Ooh, somebody's busted open. Uh, I think Kevin's Kevin Owens is busted open. Hey right. everybody, it's a John Moxley match, and Moxley's not the first one bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he won't be far behind. It won't be long. See, I could see this being like Kevin would would like just to fuck with him, try to race him to be the first one to, ble- to, to play. That's that's exactly what they will do. He's <laughs> like just to just to piss him off. Yeah, it was like the classic and i think it's part of it's one of the alternate costumes in this game of like the old like blue shirt and bl- uh, black bow tie like oh yeah one of like uh we never because we never can change we never can pick referees so it never ends up being that but yeah oh john moxie back up he's doing his payback oh here comes the chair Ooh, chair to the back. Ooh. Ooh. With the strikes, the fists. So no, oh no. Only gets a one. Only gets a one. He wants something else. <laughs> the sledgehammer. <sighs> With a bulldog. Oh. Um, I if they end up grabbing a bat, it'll be great because I did install a barbed wire bat mod. Stunner from Owens. Into the cup. The stunner. Is this gonna be enough? It, it is. is. We have a new champion. New Impact Wrestling World Champion. Also, this is. Uh, I also installed a blood mod. <laughs> That makes the the blood even more bloody. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Then it actually grows to like full crimson mask. Which was that one was courtesy of Jubba Chainsaw. Yeah, you can see how it like reaches across the face and like. (laughs) Blood and guts, baby. Oh, yeah. Blood and guts. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with my another well shotgun. Done, All right, let's see. One, two, it's over. Bring it on. 
All right. Great. Coach, Ooh. Alpha 5 weeks. Oh, Damn. no. Good promo, title match. Okay. Swerve Strickland beats John Cena. Amazing. Oh, Swerve out for four weeks. <laughs> Damn. My roster. All right, got, got some money coming in. Need some money. Yeah. It's in the light, our tag team title match. Kylan King and Jade Cargo win. Amazing. Kylan <laughs> King out for four weeks. Damn, every match has an injury. So far, so far every match has had an injury. I, I don't think this one's going to have one. Considering I hope one. not. <laughs> okay, got some money there. All right, let's... All right, let's spectate. Let's spectate. Gunther versus Will Ospreay. We're ending the rivalry. Yes. <laughs> supposed to have a trans. Oh, I know. It's supposed to have. A, uh, supposed to change the loading screen. Not the transition. One half of the ROH Tag Team Champions. The leader of the United Empire. Mm -hmm. The pride of Essex, England. Oh, Billy Osprey. Billy Goat, as they call him. Mm -hmm. Here to try to add to become a double champion. We got Billy Two Belts. Adding to his credentials is best in the world. Mm -hmm. The current real life IWGP United Kingdom champion. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Champion, Gunther. Ring General, Gunther. Can the big man continue his dominance over Ring of Honor? Mm -hmm. Something funny. <laughs> Courtesy of Deadline.com. Ron DeSantis says he has moved on from Disney and, and says Disney should drop his loss its lawsuit against him. <laughs> Is he trying to hit him with a trying to hit him with an old school I don't want to fight when you're ready to sucker punch somebody? What are you fighting for? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't yeah, he, he he bit off more than he could chew going after the mouse. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm not creative. Uh, log in. I'm not logged in and read it here. Uh oh. Because you said bad things about Reddit and they logged you out. Not following it heard what you said. Yeah. Fuck Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they said it, not me. They said it. <laughs> I did say it. This was DJ M saying. This was Dave. Said it, not me. I said it to him. I'll say it again. Fuck oh. Reddit. From Leeds, England. Oh, oh, I love you, two two Korea, but God damn it, the crimes, the pizza crimes you commit. And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in uh, at 297 pounds. He is the NXT champion. I have to go in and re, re edit the. What is this delicious looking treat I'm looking at here? This is right? pizza in Korea. Ch huh. the, the first one is cheddar pizza, cheddar corn cheese, cheddar Ooh. corn cheese, which is cheddar with corn. <laughs> Ooh. It looks like corn on the cob. Yeah. I think it's like maybe like taking like 
I'm looking at this, and I say, if they had just cut up the corn yeah. and, like, spread it out like you would, like, corn. Yeah. Instead of cutting it off the cob the way that way, I would bet that would not be terrible. The, ultra the one in the middle doesn't corn. look that bad. There's like little corn kernels, but like... Oh, no, that has corn on it, too. Yeah. Okay, no, stop. No. Let me look Blue at this one. Peck boy. And then... Stop learning recipes from white people. <laughs> Hur hurricane potato. Uh, this one... It looks like turkey slices, but it's potato? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's potato slices. I'm like chicken potato chip. Yeah, potato chip. Blah. Bacon. Olaga. Basakan. Chica. Chicam. Ilpum. Pet boy. Oh, they, they got this, this Hit barbed pizza. wire bat out there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they used it yet. You got a barbed wire bat. <laughs> That's a... They borrowed it from Mox. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this second one in the middle doesn't look terrible. Shifa bulgogi. Yeah. So th it's like, bulgogi in the center. Yeah, oh, that's what yeah. I was like. Bulgogi, yeah. pepperoni, but the corn still, like, is stopped. Bacon. Corn. So it's bulgogi, pepperoni, and bacon. Yeah, that, do that doesn't that sound would, bad That at sounds all. fantastic. Stop, stop leaving all I would the corn. Eat that. There's corn on there. I would, I would, I mean, I would organize it way differently. Yes. You know, like, you could, like, layer, you can, like, mix it together and make it, like, mingle, but... Yeah. But, like, the corn... <laughs> oh. Oh, go is corn a thing in Korea? I guess. Uh, this is... Uh... If, if it isn't, they're trying. Oh, Osprey took the swing, but... Goons were evaded it. It's a peck boy, because it's, uh... It's Peck is the the surname of the the dude who's giving you a thumbs up. <laughs> Ooh, Chef Peck. I think somebody got busted up. Yeah, we got bloody. Oh, oh! The tiger flip kick. I don't think it's gonna show him. No, 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 But there was a great moment, like, where I was uh, watching a match where um, uh, I think, let's just say that the main event that I have pre taped, I may have made a couple of attempts at it and, have, you know, like, recorded multiple attempts at it. At it. Um, and one of them, they had a gr actual group moment where, holy crap, oh, no. Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay toppling the giant. They had a great Will moment Ospreay where, where finally, those... finally, <laughs> finally conquers Genta. Yeah. Uh, where they had a, just a classic uh, ir uh, Irish whip to uh, drop down. Leapfrog, uh, back body drop sequence. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> nice. It was like, wow, the AI did that. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it was like, oh, all right. Legendary. Five yeah. stars. Rivalry complete. That's some legendary. Oh, looking back, because uh, uh, you posted that, and I'm looking at the Skype chat. Did you see that uh, Stephen Amell was now on the picket lines? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. He's, uh, yeah, he's like, I would love to as everyone hear has the phone call between him and his agent. He's like, I, uh, uh, Steve? You fucked up. No, no. <laughs> Petey, you're, you're being way too nice. It started like this. Who the fuck do you think you are? Are you fucking stupid or are you brain dead? Because you're one of them. <laughs> yes. And you're not you just fucking you're with about your money now. You're fucking with my money. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, oh, my God. Okay, let's simulate here. Simulate. Oh. Oh. Oh, new, new tag team champs. <laughs> we had a title change. Switchblade J. White. Weak promo. 
That's... Weak promo from Jay White? What? The Bang Bang Gang, the leader of the Bang Bang Gang. Surprising. I think this is going to out outperform your opener. Yeah. Ooh, new uh, oh, no, I think maybe defend that. Uh, pops zero for Ella Rubau. All right. So she's new. Uh, you know, we had to get her out there. Uh, uh. Hyper, Hyper Niven. Niven. New champ. Alexa Bliss injured for injury. three weeks. Amazing. <laughs> he lost popularity. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I, he was going you out there what? trying to get you more know popular. But I feel like that's kind of the play for silence. He probably yeah, came out there tap. and didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, and he it just seemed stood like there. it didn't go well, but that's exactly what we planned on. <laughs> exactly. One, two, it's over. Bring it. Jimmy and Jay Uso get the win. Orange Cassidy. Excellent promo. Main event. It's main event time. Fatal four way. Four men in her, one man leaves a champion. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had two. I still had two seltzers. I thought I was out of seltzers, but I have two. Hey. I have, I have uh, two uh, Bell V Blackberry seltzers. Let me show this camera. The, for, this is the Aldi LaCroix. <laughs> the following so we've got some spicy one. Fatal four way match. That is four. The WWE Intercontinental Championship! Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 177 pounds, John Owens! John Owens. <laughs> oh yeah. With his special move, Jive Time. Nice. If that's not what it's called, that's what it should be called. That's what it's called now. <laughs> Feast your eyes on Jaibo. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never seen nothing like this, baby. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Alright, here comes the big guy. Big Bill. Or Big Bill William Morrissey. Exactly. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 276 pounds, W. Morrissey. Oh, they actually got his well, impact they, uh, and Indy's <laughs> name in there. <laughs> I got his, uh, yeah, somebody made a, somebody made a, a thing. <laughs> I mean, it is. Bill Morrissey. So, you know, William. <laughs> I have to say, one of the better parts of the Big Bill Brian Cage tag team was uh, how effectively they were able, to, because of their height difference, do a combination yes. powerbomb cl <laughs> clothesline. Like, that was actually pretty good. Really good. Their powerbomb clothesline move. It is very good. Um, and introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 187 pounds, Jody Garcia. Red Deck, Daniel Garcia. Mm -hmm. The PWG World Champion. Mm -hmm. Who just defended in a 60 minute Iron Man match against Speedball Mike Bailey. Here it was a bag. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine. <laughs> we'll be able to see it in uh, three years from now. <laughs> <sighs> I know he doesn't want. I know Super Dragon is an old fart and he doesn't want to, but come on. You gotta figure out some kind of streaming deal. 
I just don't think he gives a shit. I, that's it. I don't think he gives a shit. Yeah, I know. And you see the champion from Rutherford, New Jersey, weighing in at 227 pounds. He is the he WWE Intercontinental Champion, Steve Mack Lee. Front towards enemy. Oh, Dude. did you see this, Petey? Was that the Marlins against the Astros tonight? Just went back to back to back home runs. Nice. Let me see. I gotta pull up the score. Okay. Austin's power. Southfield gets. Uh, Braves and Bruce. Uh, Braves beat up on the Yankees, so you know this, which is a. Bro, the Braves are insane. Uh, anyway, now, try to go back to MLB.com. Okay, game day. <laughs> what are they chanting? I, I don't know. Get these hands? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. That'd be a great chant. <laughs> Um, yeah, the Marlins are up five to one. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Jorge Soler. Luis Arias. Well, super and, kick from uh, Josh Bell, all home, all homered. Ooh. Lewis Arias is insane this year. Yeah, that's got to be one of the worst feelings when you're a pitcher. Yeah. Like, uh, when, like okay, a guy home is oh, off The like, game's over. Okay. Ooh. Like, Arias, like, he's not batting 400 anymore, but he's at this point, he's still batting 366. <laughs> he that's fell off good. to 366. Like, Wow. He's just having a monster of a season. That's pretty good. Um, I'm just, uh, yeah. Let me see. What are, the, what are the standings? I gotta look at the standings. What are the, uh, okay, I'm gonna go back to Okay, try. Dive on. Oh, oh, <laughs> Big Cass has the tender stick. The chase a little too much. Reversed it though. Reversed it into a headlock takeover. Jai Owens going toe to toe with Daniel Garcia. He came out here to wrestle, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Came out here to work and work with he's what he's doing. He's got his working boots on. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's driving those fists down. A double leg takedown in the right left hands out of the <laughs> mouth and a back fist. Damn. John Owens is not messing around. He's taking this opportunity. He's he wants that title. It. He's grabbing the He busted him open. With the elbow drop, John Ooh. Owens is not playing. <laughs> and I think Steve Macklin just realized that and broke up the pin. He almost lost, lost his title. But I'm getting pinned. That's how it can happen in a fatal four way. Big Cass is busted open. Oh, yeah. Big Cass is one of busted open. Okay. Big Bill. Big Bill. Yeah. Oh, I think it happens okay. simultaneously. Uh, you know what? It must have happened simultaneously with the elbow drop that they assumed Dan and Griffey was busted open. But it happened just coincidentally at the same exact time. <laughs> Good video game. That oh, was good. No, oh, it was just hilarious timing. Crab taking a little bit of a rest outside. Oh, going under the ropes, so. though. Big choke. John Owens has got himself a kendo stick. Uh, oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Ooh, he's he's to getting the face. ready. Ooh. 
Coming out with a knee. <laughs> Got a little shadow back boxing. <laughs> Doing a bit of shadow boxing. Oh. Uh, Marlins are only two and a half games behind the Phillies. Okay. Yeah. We're in second place. Oh, ran into the rough. Fucking. We're only. We're in the body. We have one, we're one game behind the, uh, of San Francisco for the second place in the wild card race, Ooh, but big we, knee, just, my God. we have two more losses. Drive is probably the healthiest man in here still. Yeah. It's outside to catch yourself a little breather. Go back under the. What's he going on for this time? He's got a chair. <laughs> Give him the chair. Oh, oh. Square on the forehead. <laughs> Daniel Garcia kipping up. No tiger bomb. Mm -hmm. Loose him up again. Lariato on the outside. Oh. The leg bar. I see it with the submission. Look at the, with the heel hook. Daniel Garcia almost had that heel hook in there. The big Bill put a stop to it. Big Bill, blood in his eyes, fire in his heart. He's here for the gold. He's here to become international champion. The action is fast and furious. No telling whose game it is. Oh. Going to town with that chair clears out the ring. <laughs> it's like, right, that get out. not messing around. <laughs> oh. There you go, Big Bill. That was just for you. Oh, Big Bill, don't you get pinned? Oh, Only one. one. There's another chair in for... Oh. Jav Owens oh. has a finisher. I do not know what his finisher is, but oh, but he's got Big Bill off. Oh, he did big for the go to hell. GTH. What? And Jav Owens is victorious. <laughs> we have a new champion. Your AEW international champion with the go to hell for the dive time. Dive mm -hmm. time. Here's your dive time. WWE Intercontinental Champion. All that Jeff velour. Owens. <laughs> he is sweat too. <laughs> I mean, Congratulations he's to he's wrestling in velour, like <laughs> blood and guts shall forever be known as Jive Time. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve Macklin is injured. <laughs> I feel like that should have had a, been a higher rated match. That was a good match. Man, injuries <laughs> everywhere. Wow, this is, I mean, blood and guts changes people. <laughs> it is blood and guts. Yeah. <laughs> Only two weeks. Not terrible. Not too bad. All right, here's AEW. Hopefully, I built, hopefully, I booked a good show for Drew. Oh, there you go. Had an amazing opener. All right, excellent promo. 11K. The undisputed three. era win, three and a half. Kyle O'Reilly injured for three. Oh, two and... injuries in that match. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bailey and Ruby Bailey Soho. Ruby Soho. Should be a good match, I think, Bailey based on wins. popularity. Yeah. Great. Great. Bailey no wins. Injuries. New TBS champion. Excellent promo Look. from Butch. Um. Ooh, new tag champs. Johnny chance. Gargano and King Kaz are the new tag team champions. <laughs> Donatello. <laughs> Weak from Donatello. And our championship match between Montez Ford and Maxwell Jacob Friedman. I bet this would actually be really fun in real oh, yeah. life. <laughs> Can you imagine a tag team match between... Better than you, Bay Bay, and the Street Profits. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Oh, uh, hell yeah. That would be fun. 
and the pre the pre match uh, dance off alone. <laughs> Montez Ford. The guy many are saying is the next big single star yeah. in WWE. Whenever they decide to give Angelo Dawkins the Marty Jannetty treatments. It would, it would suck to, to see Papa Dox fall by the wayside. He's a good it's, dude. It's going to happen. But it's yeah. probably going to happen. But yeah, it is going to happen. Papa Ducks. Montez looks ready for a championship contest, that's for sure. His first chance at singles gold. Mm -hmm. Styling and profiling. If you will. With the chains. And the shades. And now the champion. AEW World Heavyweight Champion. He's not just a scumbag. He's our scumbag. Maxwell Jacob Friedman. MJF. I... Oh my god, I... I can see you. Well, let's see what happens with this match. He retains. I'm gonna see if I can request in the him? Discord. Uh, Are you gonna turn him? Oh, well, I don't know. That's up to Drew. Um, um, no, what I'm thinking is asking the the the, the mod Discord if they can make a triple B. <laughs> oh. Like, just. All they really need to do is retexture the the belt, the, the leather strap. They are saying we want the smoke for mm -hmm. Montez Ford. Montez Ford, so yeah. The following contest is a Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford! Representing the Street Profits. And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, oh, what? weighing in at 230 pounds. He is. Where did they say he was from? Uh, I gotta fix that. Apparently, it said Max. They probably it said Glasgow, Scotland. Oh, oh. <laughs> I gotta get in there because things get reset. And I gotta get in there and fix those things. Including the audio files. I thought I'd change this thing. Oh, well, but that's. Do, do, do. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. oh. And they are wasting no time going to his scumbag tactics. Yeah. Okay, character profile. Oh, bottom. Oh. Petey, let me ask you, what do you think of the current ongoing saga of Apple and MJF? Better than you, baby. I think it's interesting. It's it's fun. I I, I, I it, it it's just is odd. Yes, uh, odd odd is a good word for it. Um, I, I mean, 
Oh yeah, that's why. Cause this is. Um, I think. Um, it should be it. It. I think they can. They, they're gonna. It, it, they're making. They're setting up some interesting things. Um, especially with the idea that they might. Uh, they might psych. You, they might fake you out on who they're turning. Like, which I don't know. If they're really faking people out because I think people are are already smelling the possibility of. Uh, Adam Cole being the one that turns and joins Kingdom <laughs> again, re reunites Kingdom. So that, you know, I mean, it would be cool to see the Kingdom back together at full force. Yeah, it's been a long time since. The kingdom has been at full force. Yeah. And no, and let's be honest, nobody's ever really bought Matt Taven as a main adventure. <laughs> no. um, I'm sorry, I'm just saying it. I'm saying what we're all thinking. Yeah. Uh, that that makes me a dick. I know, but I'm not wrong. Um. Yeah, the kingdom in AEW, not Ring of Honor. That would be fascinating. That, that, that would be fascinating to watch. I it, that so, not unlike the same way I love seeing Juice Robinson get time on Collision yeah. thanks to Bullet Club Gold. That would be really great for my boy Mike Bennett. I've yeah. always really liked him. I've always really liked Mike Bennett. Yeah. So maybe that'll be good for him. It should be. Okay, it's already 2-1. Okay. So it just needs to change this. Okay. Location call name. Wait. Over the corner. He's out with a flag neck breaker into your cover. Oh, he's oh, down. <laughs> oh, he's going to the top rope. Oh, the frog splash. No water in the pool for the frog splash. MJF capitalizes and immediately tries to cover and gets a one count. Of course. Grows. And now he's got the barbed wire bat. <laughs> Ford invades it. That has worked out for anyone. <laughs> well, he's got the chair. <laughs> MJF evades. Another man gaining an advantage here. Ooh, a, little, a knee to the face. Standing drop kick. Looking mm -hmm. good. Little stomp there. Stretch oh. off the arm. Arm puller. Shoulder dislocator. Oh, he's going to go on the sharpshooter. They're not in Canada, mm -hmm. so it's not a plus two. Nope. Locked in in the center of the ring. Well, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, he's Montez breaking out of it. Fights his way out. Fights through the pain and throws him off. Whoop. With a neck breaker. Oh, the arm bar. Once again, in the center of the Did ring. He is picking him. Mount Maxwell Jacob Freeman picking Montez Ford apart. This is kind of locked in. Oh. 
Montez oh. working his way out. Rings down the fist. The damage has been done. <laughs> Just, Just chucks him on the ground. Side. He's like, out of here. <laughs> that would not happen in real oh. life. No, no. <laughs> MJF would never agree, agree to do that stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. German Suplex is out of the cage. Through the cage. Through the cage. Oh. The yeah. champion oh. showing some brutality. All right, they're going to do this thing. <laughs> and they're going up to the top because, of course, it's the video game. They want to do the thing when they go up the top. Sure, right, careful, they're going to fall off haunting. <laughs> 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 Squirt finally makes his way to the top drop. Stuns MJF. DDT. DDT. On to the top of the cell. Ooh. Okay. How much can this cage take? <laughs> Indefinitely, if it's on the edge. <laughs> They would just keep doing it in the middle. Uh, come on. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. A little turning. Yeah. Oh. And down goes Montez. Oh. Good God almighty. I think he's, he's having. He's I think dead. He has just covering. I think it's over. Yeah. Wow. His life meter immediately went to zero. <laughs> yeah. Just brutal. brutal. Again, just determines. Oh, Germans him right through the top Damn. of the cell. And climbs and down. MJF wasting no time. And pins him. Immediately going for the cover. Absolutely. All right, let's. Here's your winner, and still That bidding war of 2024 rages on. Absolutely. The scumbag of scumbag retains. Mm -hmm. Legendary. Legendary. Five stars. Absolutely. Injury alert. Montez Ford. We don't even know how long he's out. <laughs> Damn. The, absolutely. I, I bet he's injured. Fuck. They can't even say he how wasn't. long. His injury is indefinite. Uh, Put it all on the line. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. I'm sorry. He's, just, he's dead. He's deceased. <laughs> uh, injured for four weeks. Home up five stars. Uh, they, uh, Great Drew, pay per view, everybody. All right, now let's get to let's before we we move on to the the other logistics. Let's have our true main event. Oh, because we're doing blood and guts. I figured we needed to actually have a blood and guts match, but we can't book them in the actual like GM mode uh, thing. So I decided to to book one myself, and I figure it's you know we'll get ahead of the head uh, the of the hype, and we'll book the match that everybody's waiting for. Uh, it is uh, the four on four blood and guts match. Uh, between CMFTR Hausen uh, and the Elite. <laughs> okay. Because I needed to put a fourth person on CMFTR, and I figured, well, Dan Hausen makes sense. He's, sure. <laughs> he's like the, he's like the Hey, CM it's Punk. at Little Caesars Arena. That means yes. I'm literally in this crowd right now yeah. somewhere. Yes. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages. With one member was this done in SmackDown or Fight Forever? Uh, this one was done in 2K. In, in, in 2K. As you can see, it's supposed to be war games. It's technically so war games, but this is the other version. The same, uh, this is, uh, the Matt Fick Blood and Guts, uh, arena. Um... Which is War Games compatible, aka Blood and Guts compatible. And the this is the Blood and Guts cage, uh, courtesy of Chainsaw Gnarly or Chainsaw Charlie. And it is mod. I, I, 
the one part of his nod that I left out because is it didn't work quite well with the AI. I think it was more it was it's a more fun thing for people to play in, uh, which is the Chainsaw Charlie. Uh, he had another part of his mod where he put like a stack of like ladders, a stack of tables, and like <laughs> like it on that second ring, just kind of yeah. hovering there, and some tables. Some tables, some ladders, and like I forget what else. I think it was just tables and ladders, and maybe some like other weapons. Um, but it's kind of like just there as a prop set. Uh, but they kind of didn't didn't quite uh, work for the AI. It just kind of cle- created a clutter. And then the AI usually would, before they get entered into the match, go under the ring outside and grab some weapons, throw them in. So I was like, okay, we're not going to be without weapons. <laughs> like, so before they get into the match, they go in the ring, grab a weapon, or go back and grab two. But here are your number ones. It's CM Punk versus Kenny Omega to start things off. Now this is the match that I believe should be the main event of All In. Oh, uh, yeah. And representing the from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in. Thank you, Justin Roberts. Yes. Enter the best belt machine. Mm-hmm. Maybe the most polarizing great wrestler of all time. Uh, you either think he's one of the greatest ever or one of the worst ever. Kenny Omega. I don't think it's really a secret on which side I stand on. I think he's one of the goats. Both teams starting with their top stars. And there goes the bell. Kaz, what's been going on with you? What's going on? Nothing much. Just uh, been playing a lot of roleplay. Nice. It's been a fun, interesting time. <laughs> what are you playing? It's a GTA roleplay. Nice. Okay. All right. Trying to get the street racing scene going. <laughs> so I sponsored a, a a 30k race the other day. Nice. Which took forever to set up because uh, we. You mean thirty thousand dollars or thirty kilometers? <laughs> oh no 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 thirty thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Well we, we used the uh, just did a race on the highway, which is always good. Yeah. Um, it was relatively funny because I was like, I know, uh, I, I, I was trying to go over the rules of the race, and we were all parked at a gas station, and someone's car blew up, so everybody had to get their cars out of there before the, all the cars blew up. Um, I'm about to put something in the Skype chat. Nice. And it won't need any explanation. <laughs> Oh, oh, the uh, wait, <laughs> Firefox. <laughs> there you go. No, no explanation necessary. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was hoping uh, the acclaim would be bringing out the 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 chairs. <laughs> you know. Coming out next is Cash Wheeler with FTR. Mm-hmm. He coming out. He's uh, he's gonna grab a sledgehammer, uh, and then so yeah, they they will like grab a couple of weapons. So he's gonna bring out a sledgehammer and a chair. So I'll, I also made it submission only because uh, by default it's pinfall or submission or 
force your opponent to escape. <laughs> so, like, if you get out, if you, in war games apparently now, if you leave the cage, you, you lose. <laughs> oh. I guess it's like, re you know, retreating. <laughs> I guess it's their way of surrender. <laughs> Which makes sense. But you can also, like, customize the match rules, so... Hoping, uh, you know, McLean being the the meme wards, they would be the ones providing the moment. But hey, uh, of course. I mean, let's let's not act like the new day aren't meme wards. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it just took till today for them to get around to doing it. It is wild. Coming like, in next, Nick Jackson. Mm -hmm. Um, slick Nick Jackson. I. What was I going to say? Um, I, I remember, like, waking up the, the when TikTok was nothing but the fucking uh, the uh, Montgomery brawl. <laughs> Battle of Montgomery. The Battle like, of Montgomery, yeah. yes. I, it was like, I woke up one day and suddenly I'm scrolling and everything, every TikTok was about that. Like, my whole feed was like, I, I guess something happened in Montgomery. <laughs> it was like, ooh, the I didn't see the whole thing. <laughs> I think I'm, I, I saw a bunch of, I saw chunks of it, but I gotta sit down and watch the whole thing. David Woods' hair in this, in this picture. Very Milly Vanilli, but in the best way possible. <laughs> Coming up next, Dax Hardwood. Mm -hmm. Alright, Dax bringing in the table. Cash applying the sharpshooter, though it's not. The, the submission cannot happen yet. We were working. Uh, 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 well, Bel Blood and Guts has not officially begun. Not until the anchors of both teams enter the ring, enter the, the cell. <laughs> CM Punk. CMFTR with a man advantage right now. <laughs> For now. For now. Power driver. Power driver. With the power driver. Rest in peace, AC. Yeah. Dax Harwood climbing up to the top of the cage for some reason. Big splash. Big the... splash. <laughs> Dax Harwood splashing on an extension. Absolutely Jackson. obliterating Kenny Omega. Oh, yeah. Or was that Matt Jackson? That was Nick, Nick Jackson. Jackson. Matt Jackson is coming in there right now to even the numbers for Nick the Nick Jackson is out. Nick, the Matt throwing the the uh, table into the other <laughs> ring.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Cashula wants to just hit people with that table. <laughs> he can do whatever it wants. And so this is this of course leaves uh, the obvious anchors for both teams. Uh, the elite's anchor, Hangman Adam Page, and CMFT Harhausen's anchor, Dan Housen. <laughs> Very nice, very evil. He's bringing in the kendo stick. And why wouldn't he? It's blood and guts. Snap suplex right there from, from Dax Harwood. And once again, going up to the top rope. I think he once again wants to murder Nick Jackson. <laughs> or Max Jackson, I think. Oh, oh, did not get it the second time. Put them in the top row. Oh. Here comes CM Punk with the Pepsi Plunge. A Pepsi Plunge. Vintage CM Punk. Dan Housen up to the top of the cave. Splashing on the Kenny Omega. A big splash. And in comes the Adam Page. Here comes Hanger. Ooh. Cash Wheeler suplexing Matt Jackson into the table over there. Blood and guts. Blood and guts, yes. Kenny Omega swinging that candlestick around. Another Pepsi plunge. It's by oh. submission? Yes. We have we have an exact amount of time. We only have a few more few minutes. I think it should uh, it ends seven minutes from now. Okay. This is a pre-tape, luckily. This is where spoils the fact that this is not, in fact, in the match, this sharpshooter. There's some more chaos to be had. Seems like we got... The Elite had a slight advantage over in the left, case, in the left ring. But that left CM Punk and, and Cash Wheeler able to just beat up on, on Matt Jackson. But now it's the Young Bucks versus CM Punk and Cash Wheeler. Over there is Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page. The J Drill. The Another big splash. And the elbow by Kenny Omega. Fujiwara arm it's like bar hang man with man. the arm bar with yeah. Dan Housen submit. Oh. He does not. He breaks out of it. Ooh, the hits is there. Oh. Oh. Dan Housen with a sledgehammer. One wind angel. But there's not there's no pinfalls. He's gonna have to make him tap out. 
Kenny would have had scissors, Hangman with the arm bar. His legs did some weird shit when he did that. <laughs> He's just like... There's a lot going on. This has a star meter in the upper left corner. Was that there before? Uh, in when you just uh, when you uh, do just play like quick play for the main screen, yeah, it'll include the star meter. So that's because it's actually being determined by the what's happening in the match and things like that, and like back and forth. Uh, it's not in GM mode because the stars are purely determined by like the this like popularity. Uh, yeah, but I feel like rivalry could put stuff. that in GM mode and it would work so well. Yeah. Because, it, it like, would, you yeah. could start with a certain amount of stars based on the pre booking, and then how the match goes could determine if it goes up or down, you know? Yeah, it could be. Like, yeah. it, it would be a better mechanic because it would be like, you know, like. Yeah, that would be cool. But yeah, yeah. that's why it's uh, different. That's why it's a, this is. It's taking up by move variety, back and forth. Like, you could Tremendous. go full fucking football manager and have a pre after that. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh. you didn't perform as well as it looked on paper, so. Yeah. And it would be, and that would give you more data to be like, oh, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, the barbed wire bat. Swing the barbed wire bat. Ooh, right into the back. Getting right. Oh, him open. right on Nick Jackson's face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's still yeah. getting hit with it. I can hear it in the back. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting whooped. <laughs> Money walk, it's real. Go get me a switch. Falcon <laughs> Arrow, CM Punch does the deal. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, tandem. Oh, the big elbow drop. Mm. This match so far is looking good for CMFTR housing. Yeah, so far. Somebody else, I, I think the other Jackson brother is uh, busted open as well. Nice close up of the blood. The crimson mask. Ooh, super kick onto CM Punk. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gets broken up immediately by, by, Matt, by Nick Jackson. A lot of bodies just lying on the ground, taking naps. <laughs> There's been a lot of uh, carnage and violence. <laughs> Some blood and guts. This would be the moment, like, with uh, people lying down where you have, like, the one last couple moves that w ends up with everybody lying down, so you kind of, like, have the breather and the visual of, like, everybody selling death. <laughs>
Oh, and there you go. The elite are victorious. The elite are victorious. And, and with uh, Nick Jackson winning with the sharpshooter on Cash Wheeler. There's the one win eight, one win get Angel. Take over a, a knee by, by Kenny Omega. Hell yeah. We got a we, we got a blood and guts in our blood and guts tonight. All right, let's see. Uh, Impact Wrestling, amazing booking, uh, but a lot of injuries. Tanahashi out for three weeks. Uh, that rivalry's gone. Cash Wheeler out for three weeks somehow. Uh, but other than that, okay, that's fine. That rivalry completed. That rivalry completed. That row where we completed. That's at level three. This is at level three, which can be pushed further. Okay. Ring of Honor. Take a look at your opening. Poop. And some title changes. Kota Bushi, five weeks. Yeah. Oh, look at your. Uh, uh, Kota Bushi, CM Punk, and Swerve Strickland, <laughs> four, four weeks. Uh, Kylan King, four weeks. You know, uh, none and yes. none for Gunter and Will Ospreay. Okay, oh, okay. Work, All right. Oh, both guys out for an extended amount of time. That was right. tough. And a normal match. <laughs> Yeah, with blood and guts, baby. Yeah, everybody's putting it out there. Collision, Lexa Bliss out for three weeks, and Steve Macklin out for two weeks. Uh, we have a new international champion. Uh, so he had a poor opening as well. Drew had an amazing booking. Uh, and the numbers are really good for the show. You see, he had good rivalries set up. The Montez Ford is out for four weeks. Damn! <laughs> like, Kyle O'Reilly, Malachi Black, and Raphael all injured. <laughs> Damn. And it didn't do the thing I was hoping it would do to the rivalry, which is to, uh, bump it up to... Well, actually... I think it was level one, maybe. So it turned it to level three. I don't remember. Um, and then that rivalry completed. All right. I gained 140,000 fans and a tiny profit. <laughs> Teeny tiny profit. Uh,. Congratulate Miro on his new career in stand-up comedy. Loads of laugh from the crowd tonight. <laughs> Tamina and Shotzi are the new champions. Disappointing outcome for Mayu and Starks. A really solid contest between Bombshell, Barry Blonde, and Cash Wheeler. Alright. Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. Let's Game see if what I said about social 000. media came true. Uh, ooh. Had a better profit than I did. Okay. Total budget. Uh, let's see. Match quality B. Total fans. Fans change. Made some money. Rivalry finally settled. Ring of Honor pushing their stars hard. Zoe Stark. Iron Man. Ring of Honor was amazing. What happened to Kyrie? Don't you worry about that. Uh, Jake Cargill, Sky Blue, AJ Styles. Okay, they didn't complain about the commercials. All right. Good. Yeah, exactly. All right, collision. Uh, 101,000 fans gained, but a huge profit. You good? Mm-hmm. Ford and Liv work really well together as a tag team. 
AW Collision announced Steve Macklin is going to be out for a little while. Sounds like Alexa will be out too. We really like tonight's collision. And can't wait for Darks Harwood to get a shot at the Universal Championship, the TNT Championship. Jive Owens gets payback on Steve Macklin. <laughs> nice. Someone at the AEW Collision must really like Edge on almost every week. Hey, well, I have had, I have a, a little. I already had a bunch of injuries, and he's my fucking like he's my big guy right now. So exactly. I think I think this week Randy Orton is going to be back. So <laughs> prepare for the fucking the Randy Orton push. Yeah, exactly. All right, Dynamite. One hundred fifty-five thousand fans gained. Oh no! Tiny tiny loss in money. But honestly, the budget is still good for him. Ford's has, Ford has a really great feel for Hell in the Cell matches. AW <laughs> Dynamite should take advantage. Walker Wounded. Does out he? Here to... <laughs> I don't know if that match went really well for him. No. Uh, started strong and ended strong. If only you could fight as well as you talk, Butch. All bark and no bite. Kaz and Gargano are the new champions. He's starting some uh, Twitter beef. Mm hmm. Special effects budget. All right. Okay, so that's good. Injury rehab. That's pretty good. Season legend. You earned, you earned a power card by completing the seasonal challenge. Complete our season legend. Complete, complete five challenges five this challenge. season. Nice. What do I get for it? Uh, I get injury I'm rehab injury three. Rehab. Okay. So cool. you're gonna be able to like mitigate <laughs> some of the injuries. <laughs> uh, you got superstar training. So you're gonna be able to take one of those like jobbers and make it permanent superstar. Okay. I mean, I might use that on Jive. Yeah. You just Jive wanted Owens. to. Holy what? Yeah. Number one, Ring of Honor. I've surged ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think R-O-H, partially because of your R-O-H, budget, R-O-H, but yeah, the, the... I mean, R-O-H. I mean, I think both. That promo was really good for fucking. Yeah, you have good budget. Do you have less fans? But you also, I think it's, I think it's also the Hall of Fame trophy. You yeah. have, I think that's what put you at the we, top. We have the critics of, we have the critics approval. Exactly. Yeah. So you have, you have solid fan support. That Hall good of Fame trophy is definitely helping. And that Hall of Fame trophy. And I think having a good show that that show was really good. Yeah, you put on a really good show. Yeah, the poor opening just means that like it was like two matches that needed to be flipped. All right. Wait, did he? Have, I know I had a poor. Opening. You both had poor openings, but like uh, a lot of times it just means that like you needed to flip two matches and that's it. And it would have been a great about to show. Have a bunch of. All cool. right. Let me check my email so we can. <laughs> We can uh, wrap things up. Uh, my contract is up at Nova Northern Light. Uh, how about six grand? You know what? I need you to be around. Yeah, go hang out in catering. I'll give you six grand. Just... My contract. You got a swat. lot of contracts to yeah. do. Uh, I hope I've done a good job for you, but it's time to move on. This will be my fact. Oh, he doesn't even like ask for money. <laughs> <laughs> all right peace all right uh, oh this is damn <laughs> they don't even Him like too. you know what we know you're broke pe- with the peace <laughs> it's like peace we know you're broke peace <laughs> cash wheeler come on Ooh, 82k <laughs> he's he's one half of one of your best tag teams yeah maybe your best tag team But I'll take it. Okay. Took a hidden morale, but he'll be fine. Um, I'm doing good <laughs> Peace. That's that, blocking your they future hit that endeavors. One, one TV spot, and they're like, I'm out. I'm going to yeah, look yeah, for it. <laughs> All right, so the stars. All right, Tamina, Tamina has something to say. I'm getting a little tired of being the bad girl all the time. I want to hear the crowd cheering for me. Oh. They want a right. role reversal. All right. <laughs> That's going to cost you some money, Pete. Yeah. Role reversal is not cheap. Nope. That loser Danielle attacked me during the last fight. I'm not going to stand for garbage like that. Uh. <laughs> 
she just left your locker room. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fulfill that. No, I, I'm gonna have to say no. It just so like it doesn't no, moderate decrease in morale. But all right, we get to I get to pick a shakeup. Okay. Oh, gain four power cards. That's good. It's Honestly, really good. yeah. I need. I may need to just hold. May need to get a booster pack. Get my booster pack. Trust in the heart of the cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, to the moon. Come on. Uh, okay, free crew booking. I was hoping for more free booking stuff. Is it me? Uh, no. We're, we're, we're that was. We're gonna the, wait until next week. Yeah, we gotta wait till next week, because it's when it come, becomes your turn to book again. Uh, we just have to get through that because so that it'll save. <laughs> uh, yeah, another fantastic week. Let's switch over the screen. Uh, thank y'all for being with us. Uh, we will be back next week for more so GM. We're on the road to all out. Four weeks till all out. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, My roster's in shambles. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'm broke. So we're, 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 we've got oh, a lot of, of my part. <laughs> I'm broke too. Yeah, we we're, we've got a long road ahead of us, uh, but it's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, thank you for being with us. Uh, be sure to catch us uh, next week again. Be sure to catch more streams all throughout the week uh, here on Real Belly TV on Twitch. Be sure to check out the YouTube uh, for the vods and the videos and things like that. Um, and yeah. Until next time, hasta los huevos. Toodaloo. Peace. Bye bye. Annyeong. Fighting. Live long and prosper. <laughs>